Issue 2 passes with 57% of the vote in Ohio. It legalizes cannabis and recreational marijuana use for adults 21 years and older. It's set to take effect in about a month. So this morning, joining me now, Tom Heron, spokesperson for the Coalition to Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol, which helped get this issue on the ballot. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So, Tom, recreational marijuana will become law next month, and that'll remove the criminal penalties associated with possession. So we know adults will eventually be able to buy up to 2.5 ounces in Ohio, grow plants at home. But, Tom, what exactly does use of marijuana products in a public place look like? Well, it looks a lot like consumption of alcohol in a public place, right? You can consume alcohol at a bar or a restaurant or places where they permit the consumption of alcohol. But you can't bring that beer out and walk down the sidewalk. Um, you know, our organization, you know, we, for the last two years, we've called ourselves the Coalition to Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol. And so we want to take a lot of those existing concepts that surround how alcohol is regulated, and we want to apply those to marijuana. So you'll be able to consume in uh, uh, a business that might mm -hmm. allow you or permit you to consume. You can obviously consume at, at your home or on your own property. But consumption in public, walking down the street, that will uh, remain illegal. Okay. Well, since this is a citizen-led issue, lawmakers do have the authority to make some changes. So we've heard some legislators are looking to affirm how it's taxed and how that money will be used. But some supporters might be apprehensive of any changes that might negatively impact the will of the voters. What's your take on that? Well, look, uh, Ohio voters voted decisively in favor of issue two, passing it in a landslide victory with a 14 point margin of victory. I mean, that is as clear a signal as you will ever get from the Ohio electorate that they expect legislators and policymakers to implement the choice that they made. So it, from our standpoint, it is now time to work together to implement issue two. I mean, it's very clear Ohio voters want to set up a regulated system. They want to put the illicit market out of business. They want to bring that tax revenue back from the state of Michigan. And that's where we should all be focusing our efforts moving forward. And it will take some time for the Department of Commerce, at least, to set up everything, all the process that it takes to establish the, the necessary um, things to uh, issue licenses for both sellers and individuals. Um, so talk about how that is going to affect the actual selling process in Ohio. Yeah, so under Ohio law, citizen initiated proposals take effect 30 days after the election. And from that point on, the Ohio Department of Commerce moves forward with its rulemaking process to develop the administrative rules that would govern and, and regulate the adult use side of the industry. And uh, by the express language of issue two, within nine months of that process beginning, the Department of Commerce has to finalize its rulemaking process and then issue the first round of adult use licenses. So we should see the first legal sales of adult use marijuana products to people 21 and over starting before the end of next year. And the big question for a lot of people um, has been about medical marijuana sellers that are already in place. Uh, really quickly, talk about will people be able to immediately start buying from medical marijuana uh, sellers or will they also have to wait? Yeah, so if you have an existing medical marijuana recommendation, you will continue to be able to buy your products from a medical marijuana dispensary. But if you don't have a medical marijuana recommendation, you will have to wait until the adult use side of the industry gets up and running. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.